Hello class. So, if you ever want to tie your tie and it ends up looking like this, well today I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. You also don't want to start with a tie that matches the same color of shirt you're wearing. So first I'm going to show you guys my audience who I'm going to show. Who Lisa is behind the camera. Hi. This is significant because some of you guys will wear a tie to formal events or to school for a speech. Others will help sons, um, nephews, you know, because sometimes learning on YouTube isn't as easy as it looks. So I'm gonna show you guys how I learned how to do it. First, you start off with a tie, something nice, something that, like I said, doesn't match the exact same color you're wearing. You don't want it to be perfectly even. You want to bring it up. This is all going to depend on your height and how low you want to wear it. Usually you want the tip of it to end up right above your belt, below your belly button. That belly button's right about there. So it's right around there for me. So you bring the thin side, the shorter side, around the back, grab the long side, bring it underneath. And this first knot I'm showing is the full Windsor, which is my favorite knot. And you're gonna see why. So I brought it behind, underneath through the hole, around the back. You wanna keep it nice and tight, your knot. Through the hole again, once on top, you're gonna bring it out through the left side. Always keep in the direction of your tie the way you want it to go next. So this is the outside that's gonna be facing towards the outside at the end. So you wanna make sure it doesn't get tangled up because you're gonna have a nasty looking knot. Once more through the top. You're gonna bring it around. Just like if you were tying a knot, you'd hold your fingers in place to keep the hole open. Through the hole, down the center. Guiding your knot, making sure it stays semi-perfect. Then you bring it up towards your button. You bring your collar down. And like I said, making it a perfect length. That way it fits through the little strap that's on the back. Because it doesn't look nice when you're walking around like this or like that. <laughs> So if it's perfectly through, you could even squeeze it down a little bit just in case it's not long enough, depending on how you like your bow. I like mine just barely enough to cover the button. And you strain it out. Some people like it rounded. Some people like it with a dimple in between, but just to make sure it's looking nice. So that's the first knot I'm going to show you, and that's the full Windsor. And as you can see, it's almost perfectly symmetrical. The second knot I'm going to show you is the half Windsor, which is a little bit more popular because it's one less step, but I don't like it because it ends up kind of lopsided. But some people like that for a more casual look. So once again, you line it up according to your height, bring the long side over, through the center hole, around the back, and this is when you're already going to make the final knot. Back around, over through the top, through the hole, and as you can see, this one's a little bit more loose, lopsi uh, lopsided, something more casual. So like if you were to have your sleeves rolled up and just having a casual dinner, not so much a business meeting or a presentation, you could wear it a little bit more loose. You could even undo the, the top button if you, if you want. Some people don't feel like they're getting strangled. Have something a little bit more casual, but not messy.
And now you learn how to tie a tie.